Welcome back, welcome back. Today I want to talk about the easiest or more standard way to study for a SANS course. There's a lot, but a little bit of information out there about SANS and how to study for it. So what I'm gonna do is break down the basic way on how you go about it. Let's get into this. Welcome back, welcome back. So let's talk about SANS. If you're watching this video, most likely you already know what SANS courses are. But if you're new to it, SANS courses are IT courses, or better yet, SANS courses are what the acronym stands for. Sysadmin, Audit, Network, and Security courses, hence the name or abbreviation for SANS or acronym, little nugget of knowledge for you. That's what SANS courses are. Typically, you can go in person or you can get an on-demand, which you will actually do a remote or a video, a video course that's been pre-recorded that have lessons and actually you work along with the instructor and they have labs. SANS it's very expensive. Personally, I don't think it should be that expensive, but is it worth it? Yes. SANS courses are very thorough in what they teach. If you're doing sysadmin, they will take you from soup to nuts. Typically, SANS go from almost like college level courses to where you have 100 level courses, 200, 300. Well, SANS, they have their 400, 500, 600 level courses. More or less, the fours are more beginner, fives are more advanced, and sixes could be expert if you wanna look at it like that. The issue is, the first time you take a SANS course, you don't know how to prepare for it. Well, I'm gonna help you out with that. So, you might hear the buzzword index for SANS. An index is an alphabetical list of key phrases in a book. But in this case, we're gonna use, it's gonna be used for the key words, the highlighted words. So with SANS courses, typically you get five books, and what people tend to do is with the five books to make your index, they actually add colors to them or colorize them, if you would. One book might be yellow, one book might be green, blue, orange. So with the books, when they're colored, that's what you match up to components in your index. The index, what you would end up doing is, for each book, all of your buzzwords, you would take those buzz buzzwords or keywords or even key phrases, and you will write them down in your index. This word is this, this word is that, this word is this. Then you'll have where you found that word in that book. So you'll have page one, could be cooking. Page two, could be network. Then if you like, which I ended up doing, was making a column stating definition. And for that book, I would have the definition for that word because that word might show up in some of your other books. So for example, this is book one. Book one is colored blue, for example. So the blue book actually has, so if you were looking up that word on the test, or that, that word came up on the test, the word cooking, you'll go through your index when it's all compiled, and you'll look up cooking. Uh, cooking, oh, it's in, in the blue book. I see the word cooking in the blue book. Open the blue book to page, oh, page one, and you go there and then you look to see if it matches that test question. You keep doing the same thing with all the books. Let's say the second book might be yellow, and then you might see cooking again. You'll do the same thing, and in that book, that phrase or definition might be different than in the blue book. 
And if it is, that's what you'll add to your index. If it's not, leave it in the blue book if it's the same across the board. That's how you end up making your index. So what I ended up doing was doing it all in Excel, which made it easier because you can go and alphabetize everything and then colorize everything. Because during the test, the test is open book. I don't, I believe they don't want you to try, they don't expect you to try to memorize everything or to study that whole book because there's five books and you have a three hour time limit and that's super hard. Not to say that it's impossible, but I think part of it is to teach you how to research. Another side of it for the index, when you create the index, you're actually memorizing the components in the book that you're indexing because you'll have two practice tests. So you'll be able to practice using your index and then fine tune your index. But as I digress, so creating the index revolves around taking, the, taking each book, taking your keywords and the pages that the keywords are on and creating definitions. And then each book doing the same thing and compiling them into one mass document or mass index. I believe the fifth book itself has its own little index, which I wouldn't even look at that. I would completely create my own, which I did. And creating the index actually helped me pass my first SANS course. I'm going to use this method again for another SANS course that I'm currently about to take. But this is how you make an index for a SANS course. This is what people are talking about when they talk about indexes for SANS courses. It seems like a lot. It is a lot. It's a real pain. But this is the main strategy that people use to pass SANS. You can take notes. You can take the books into your test. You can't use anything digitized. So if you're doing it remotely, you can't have Excel up. So you have to have hard copies of everything. So I hope this helped everyone out. Those of you who've taken SANS courses before, I hope my method makes your indexes a little bit cleaner. Those of you who haven't taken SANS courses before, I hope this helps you create your first index to get you along the path. Also, when you're going through the on-demand or the in-person, just like if you're in a college course, whatever the teacher tells you to highlight, because most likely, or they're going to be going through the curriculum. You highlight that in your SANS book, that becomes an index. You can't have enough of words in the index. You can have doggone the whole book. But the index is to get you to a location faster to find the information. So like I said, I hope this helps. Um, I'll try to, I only made this one because I've been through it and I hope it can help someone else out. Um, I took Pen Test Plus also. So I'll do a video on how to study for that and what that entailed. But until the next time, good luck in your journey. Good luck in your course. Peace. Stay dangerous.